Hi, today I'm going to show you how I make my resin ocean shells. What you'll need A beach shell that's big enough to work with Epoxy resin I'm using resin from the Epoxy Resin store and for 20% off, use my link below Mod Podge Small plastic mixing cups Mixing sticks Liquid pigments to colour your resin Mine are from the Epoxy Resin store again, where you can get 20% off A plastic measuring jug and mixing spatula A blowtorch And rubber gloves You may want to start by protecting your work surface If your shell has small holes in it like mine, you will need to apply a thin layer of Mod Podge to protect the resin from seeping through. Do this to the inside only. Now it's time to mix your resin. Add in part B first. This is the hardener. followed by an equal part of A, which is the resin. You'll see that I've made quite a large mix here. This isn't all for this shell project, and the reason I do this is if you don't get an exact one-to-one -one ratio, your mix won't cure, so I find this a lot easier to do on a larger scale. I just make sure I have another project standing by that needs resin. Give the mix a really good stir for at least five minutes scraping the sides and bottom regularly. Pour a small amount of the resin into four plastic cups. With the first cup, you'll want to add white. These pigments are so highly concentrated, you only need a small amount. Mix well and then set aside. In your next cup, add in blue and purple. Again, you only need a very small amount. You'll want to add in slightly more blue than purple. Mix together and then set aside. For your last colour, you want blue, green and purple. The majority of the colour in this one will be green. For this colour, you really do only want a tiny, tiny amount of blue and purple. That's all three of your colours done. Leave the fourth clear. First add the green colour. It's tempting to pour a lot of the resin in, but remember, these shells are actually a bit shallower than they look. Now take the blue colour and add it to the back of the shell. That should be plenty. Now take a toothpick and neaten up the edges. You may also want to try and blur the line where the blue and the green meet to create that natural sea look. This may look easy, but it can take a while to achieve the look that you want, so do take your time. I now add in some clear resin at the front of the shell. Now 
again using your toothpick, now blur the line between clear and colour. Adding in the clear resin may have shifted things, so take your time and rework your colours if needed. Now use your blowtorch to pop any surface bubbles. I suggest that whenever you're using your blowtorch because of the scale that we're working on, only ever use it in a pulsing fashion and never hold it on your resin for more than a second at a time. Once you're finally happy with the layout of your colours, now add a small amount of white to the very outside. Although I encourage taking time with this process, you will have approximately 35 to 40 minutes work time with this particular resin. That's from the point in which part A and part B have been mixed together. I would now usually use a heat gun to move the white, but again, on this scale, we will just use our blowtorch. Using only that pulsing action I talked about, you want to try and lace that white across the rest of the colours. This is done by applying heat at a low angle. Keep going until you reach your desired look, although it is hard to know when to stop. Once you're happy with how it looks, allow it to cure for 12 hours. I love how simple and elegant these look and it's a fantastic way to use those shells that you always collect from your holidays. Thank you so so much for watching. All the product details in this video are linked below. Please like and subscribe and I will see you next week.